Hey everyone, welcome from a cool evening in Melbourne. It's quite fresh, 12 degree day today. Um, so I'm just gonna do, got a little a few things, cheap things in the mail to do on the bike. First one being a brake pedal saver. Uh, so as we know, we bent mine a while ago. Mine actually bent in, um, but these ones mainly are to connect from here to here to prevent the out bend. So if it gets bent or smashed out. So for the sake of um, 10 or $12, I thought it would be worth a go, so I thought I'd grab one of them. So putting this on will be stri quite straightforward, basically. This is the device. You undo it here. And you drill a little hole. See, it's a little bit bent, but you drill a little hole probably about here. Tiny hole. Just enough to get the wire gauge through, which you can see is only... Oh, come on, focus. Small gauge wire to fit through. And then that ends up being your stopper. So it ends up sitting, you know, something like that on there to stop stuff ripping forward or possibly even from there to there like that maybe it might reach possibly it's more likely going to be down here though we'll see so you just remove it all make it all come apart and then you slide all this off so you can do the process because obviously you want this part to go through first with none of this so that this ends up being the retaining end once we drill our little hole in here so we'll go ahead and drill the hole now we've just got a drill bit the size of the wire, that's all you want. You just want it in as close as you can here, right in the meaty bit, really. Make sure that sits straight on. Should be perfect, so just a tiny little hole. So then we can take all these bits off and so we put them back on later. So we've got our one of them, our joiner, our other one. I'll bring this down through our hole so that locks in there nicely. Put our plastic back on. That's the first one. Put our joiner back on. Put our other piece back on, which ends up being our, our U piece. And it's just a matter of fiddling and working out where you sort of want this bit to go. And for the purpose of what we're doing, I wouldn't mind it being more maybe here. It's really to stop stuff hitting here and going between your brake, which is going to bend your brake out, or if your brake does get caught on something, ripping it out, so it might even be better if you can possibly even get off the bash plate. Yeah, so I ended up, I ended up fitting it off the bash plate, mainly because you had a captive hole to be able to keep it from sliding, because it was slide along here, you don't want it under here, you don't want it under here for getting hit if you roll it over. So here's about right, so it's really good, obviously the brake can just do its little bit of movement in and out like normal, but if something comes along and hits here, it's just going to do that. It's not going to get wedged in. And if that tries to pull out, that's, that brake can't pull out to bend this way, really. Obviously, it's going to hit here, but this will prevent a catastrophic bend here, I guess. So, yeah, I think that's good. I'm happy with that. Works well. So, yeah, $11 for a bit of prevention to save this bending and fully being buggered when I'm out on the track. I think it's not too bad for 11 bucks. Cheers. So if you want one of these, obviously in Australia, MX stores anywhere, just look up Brake Snake, is what they sort of seem to be called a lot of the time. Brake Snake, Brake Saver, that sort of thing. So, cheers. If you like this video, feel free to hit like and subscribe and more videos about the KLR and stuff like that. Cheers.